Hello and Namaste, my name is Avni and you are welcome to my YouTube channel Book Summies, a channel where I review and talk a lot about books. So if you are new here, please consider to subscribe and also press the bell notification icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. I have received this book recently from the publishing house Half Baked Beans in exchange for an honest review. This book is called Disclaimer Love and is written by the author Naishal Chadarwala. Naishal is an electrical engineer and currently he is working in Pune at an MNC. This is his first book and it was released in the month of May. It's a pretty small book as you can see of 79 pages to be precise and this book's cover is filled with the shades of blue and pink with a drawing of half heart as you can see which makes it obvious that it's a book about love, romance, pain, suffering and almost every emotion that you will encounter when you are truly in love. And this is a love story about a boy called Daivat Mehta and a girl called Krishna. So let's find out what's my take on disclaimer love. First let me start with the narration or the writing style of this book. The story starts with two men who are standing on a cruise ship travelling through Europe. The first person is Eklavi Patel and the second one is our protagonist Devat Mehta. So this guy Eklav starts a conversation with Devat. He asks him what are you doing on this cruise? To which Devat replies that I am on my honeymoon with my wife on this cruise. So, Eklavi asks Devat that was your marriage an arranged one or a loved one? To which Devat replies that I had an arranged marriage but I too had a love story which was very bizarre. So Eklavi then starts asking him more questions about his love story, what happened to it and all. So Devat then hands him out this book to Eklavi which is called Disclaimer Love and he told him that if you want to know more about my love story, you can read this book whenever you have time. So now cut short the story to 7 days later when Eklavi is sitting in his home all alone. He looks at this book and he thinks that it's a good time to read it. So he starts reading this book. So we as a reader are also reading this book Disclaimer Love along with Eklavi. Now coming to the story of this book. Devat and Krishna were schoolmates in their high school. And Devat had a huge crush on Krishna but he could never tell her. And because of different streams, Devat went into an engineering college and Krishna went into a medical college. And after so many years, a WhatsApp group was formed of that whole class and then Devat and Krishna came to talking terms. Devat then expressed his feelings for Krishna and eventually they started talking to each other. Krishna also started liking Devat and they began to date each other. Everything is going good, they both falls in love, their dating is going superb but then one day suddenly Krishna broke all ties with Devat and she broke up with him and she went ahead, didn't inform him what happened and then she goes and marries to an another guy. This creates a huge negative impact on Devat's mental state and he has to cope up with everything all by his own. Eventually he moves on, he lands a job in Pune, he is all doing well there but then one day he gets a news about Krishna and that news left him devastated. That was such a bad and surprising news at the same time that that news turns Devat's world upside down. Now what will Devat do? What is this news about Krishna? How is she? Why did she left Devat? Who loved her so much. Is there a valid reason for Krishna to justify for what she did? Is there a happy ending to this story? To know all these answers, you will have to read this book. I am not a fan of romance novels, but I must admit that I really like this book. As the story progresses, it becomes more interesting to read. But I also have some recommendations which would have made this book an even better read. The first point is, there are lots of grammatical mistakes in this book and some of the sentences aren't also formed very well. For example, at page number 2 there is a line which says 
I had been saving for this trip my first salary. Instead, it should be I had been saving for this trip from my first salary. There's a line on page number 54 which says, she is a self-entered girl, which should be she is a self-centered girl. There's a line which says, um, I had a cell number of reserve, so I pinged him. Instead, the sentence should be like, I had a reserve cell number, so I pinged him. There's a line which says, I had a question in my mind, me that, that me isn't appropriate and it isn't required there. So it should be, there's a question in my mind that, so and so and so. I could have neglected the mistakes, but there were so many of them that I had to point them out. A novice reader might not even notice these mistakes, but still I feel that a solid proofreading and a proper editing will take this book a long, long way. The second thing which could have been better was the over usage of complicated words. I somehow felt that the writer wrote one paragraph, then he picked out some words out of them and then he replaced those words with their high or rich vocab synonyms and then he deliberately put those words instead of using simple words. For example, he used collyrium for coal or kajal. He used threnoids for mornings. He used loggerheads for strongly disagreeing. There was a line in this book where the girl says, I am ready for expiation and your retribution. Instead of using such complicated words, the writer could have easily said, I am ready for any sort of punishment. There was also a line where the boy says, there was some milk which I consumed. Instead of using consumed, he could have easily used, there was some milk which I drank or drink. So there were many such high vocabulary GRE GMAT words which were being used throughout the book. I have given GRE myself and I have been a reader throughout my life. So I didn't have to consult a dictionary while using this book. But if a novice reader is reading this book and especially when you're targeting Indian audience through a book. So if an Indian, a simple Indian is reading your book, he will definitely need a dictionary while reading it. And how can I say that the target audience is Indian audience? Because there was a line in the initial pages of the book which was a reference to the movie Kuch Kuch Hota Hai and its dialogue Pyar Dosti Hai. So obviously the targeted audience is Indian. And there was also an idiom used which was your needle is still stuck there which is the literal English translation of the Muhavra which we use Tumhari Sui Abhi Bhi Wahi Atki Hui Hai. So if you read American English or British English, there is no such idiom or phrase as your needle is still stuck there. If an American or a Britisher or an Australian or any other person other than Indian will read this phrase, he will not get it. Only an Indian could get it because it's a literal translation of Tumhari Sui Abhi Bhi Wahi Atki Hui Hai. Also, there is no mention at the end of this book that what was Eklavi Patel's reaction after reading this book, Disclaimer Love. I mean, you have started this book with a conversation with this man. You are handing your book out to this man. So I was hoping that there would be some dots connecting in the end with this man's reaction about this book. But there was no such thing. The book ends with Devat and Krishna's story. That's it. But if I neglect all such small corrections that are needed, the novel and the story specifically is very good. And I must mention about the ending of this book. It's very realistic and it gives a whole new dimension to the story. I really loved reading the ending of this story. I know that a lot of hard work and courage and effort is required to write a book. It's not a one day task. So kudos to Nashal for his first attempt at book writing. And I must also mention about the paper quality of this book. It's extremely good. Let me show you. The fonts are also quite spaced out, which makes it an easy read. This is the quality and the paper quality is very, very good. They are not like some usual paperback kind of quality, but in fact, they have a very rich and glossy finish to them. The kind of papers which you usually see in magazines. So very good job done there on the paper quality. This novel will remind you of your first love. 
It will take you back to those school or college days when you used to have crushes but you were too shy to go and talk to them. This will also teach you how to pull yourself out of a toxic relationship or of toxic people because it is very important for your personal growth. The price of this book is 200 rupees on Amazon and as usual I am mentioning the Amazon link of this book in the description box below so please check it out if you want to buy this book. So this was my honest review about Naishal Chaddarwala's book Disclaimer Love. If you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Books Amaze if you haven't already done that. Please share this video with your friends and family and also please do comment below in the comment section and let me know your thoughts about it. If you are a budding author or you are from a publishing house and you want your book to be reviewed by me, you can mail me on my mail id booksamaze13 at the rate gmail.com. It's also mentioned in the description box below and all the links to my other social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook and my blogs. Uh, my blog on WordPress and my Goodreads and Amazon ID, everything is mentioned in the description box below. So please check it out and do let me know if you want your book to get reviewed. I'll meet you again in my next video now. Till then, take care of yourself, keep reading, keep smiling.